Boat has become world's fifth largest wearable brand and at some point in time you must have used some of its products. So now that you have bought its products, should you buy its unlisted shares? In this video, we'll find this out together. Founded in 2014, Boat has emerged to be a market leader in India's wearable and audio segment. In December 2020, Imagine Marketing, Boat's parent company was recognized as the world's fifth largest wearable brand according to a research and advisory firm International Data Corporation. They dominated the Indian true wireless category with a whopping 40% market share in July 2022. And in September 2020, Boat shared the fifth global wearable position with Google's own Fitbit, scoring 2.6% of the total shipments. So how did they do it? Boat is the game with their robust marketing, teaming up with IPL cricket teams and signing in cricket stars like KL Rahul and Shikhar Dhawan as their brand ambassadors. The good thing about Boat is that it follows an omni-channel marketing strategy and its products are available all over from Flipkart to Amazon and even in more than 20,000 stores like Chroma and Reliance Digital. In Jan 2022, Boat filed a DRHP with plan to raise rupees 2,000 CR through an IPO. But after 12 to 18 months, the company withdrew its IPO to raise rupees 500 CR. The reason the company suggested for delaying its IPO is that it wants to focus on expanding its business operations. And recently, Boat announced its collaboration with VSurf to bring innovative products to its customers. In 2022, Boat raised rupees 500 CR capital from its current investor Warburg, a global equity firm, to expand its R&D department and produce flagship smartwatches. And the company is moving towards revolutionary business growth in the coming years with all these plans. Now coming to its financials, financial year 2023 revenue is INR 3403 CR versus 2886 CR in the previous year, which is a growth of 18%. PAT is negative 129.5 CR versus 69 CR in the previous year. With outstanding shares of approximately 9.7 CR, their market cap at the current share price stands at 8,900 CR. Talking about its shareholders, Samir Gupta and Aman Gupta owns equal stakes with 40% each and South Lake Investment Limited with 19.2% shareholding rights among others. Moreover, in 2023, Boat marked its entry into the premium segment with its Lunar series. It introduced smartwatches Lunar Connect Pro and Lunar Call Pro, industry's first ever wearables powered by Watchface Studio and Sensei. Boat has shown unstoppable growth in the last few years and is now looking at the financial year 25-26 timeframe for its IPO. So now, what are your thoughts on investing in Boat's unlisted shares? Do let us know in the comments.